two, one. Peanut Gallery Gaming. Yay! Yay! Let's go into the bathroom. Yay. Honestly, it looks good. It's a trap it in there. And it'll be pretty fun. Out. I'm talking. Stuck in the bathroom. Can you guys not hear me? Help, help, they step. I don't want to be here at all. Yeah, I can hear you the whole time. It's potty for Rick and Morty. Let's get this thing. Welcome to the Peanut Gallery Podcast, where our opinions don't matter. Today, we will start off by going around the table and introducing ourselves. I'm Hotted, and we have Stinky. Howdy, good day from Australia. <laughs> yeah, and we got uh, Hoagie, Hoggy Dog Hello, from America, and Bartol Il Perso, also from Canada. How are you doing, everyone? Line. Yeah. Living. Made it to another day. Uh, so far, let's, uh, let's open up with this E3. A lot of talk about that today. Uh, Battlefield 2042. Are you guys ready? Excited? What are you guys' thoughts? No. Honestly, looks good. Looks... Pretty fun, 128 players. I suck at shooters, so see how it goes. <laughs> Count you out. <laughs> yeah, but you guys drive a vehicle. I think it looks good, and, I mean, the graphics are amazing and stuff, but from first-person shooter point of view, I mean, it's not a battle royale, so nowadays it seems battle royales run the market when it comes to that sort of thing. I mean, look at Warzone, look at... Apex Legends and Fortnite, that's the top three FPS games currently and probably will be currently for a long time. So not doing a Battle Royale is an interesting choice. We'll see how it plays out, though. I mean, 128 players on one map is still a lot. Uh Apex, you only have 60, 90. Okay, but... You're talking like a Battle Royale game where Battlefield's never been a Battle Battle Royale. They did for... Battlefield 5, I believe. Yeah. What? Man, I shouldn't just talk. Uh, Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1 were really popular when they first came out. And I know. Yeah, Ford- yeah, but they did have uh, Battle Royale modes, did they not? Uh, no, I not thought they were all still Royale. objective based. Huh. Like, you conquer uh, territory B, C, and D. Like, those games are completely different from Battle Royale because they're. A team-based game where if you don't actually play with your team, what's your opinion about it? <laughs> Can you not hear me? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I, I wonder if this new, uh, you know, player team versus player team is it? Are they trying to topple uh, Royale style games right now? I doubt it. I doubt they're going to even touch it. Yeah, they never. I mean, battle royales are just when the first battle royale came out, it's always been the go to for most popular streamers and everything else. I mean, there's no comparison. Battle royales will rule the FPS market. Valorant was pretty cool when it came out, you know, and it's not a battle royale and it's doing okay, but it's a CSGO type game. But still, Warzone has more players than Valorant. I mean, look at Fortnite, a game that was free and didn't have a battle royale. Nobody knew about it. It was a save the world type game and nobody knew about it. Nobody was playing it and they came out with a battle royale and that's now it's one of the top grossing games for the past couple of years. Yeah, but that's because these kids steal mommy's credit card and then they go rack up a thousand dollars on people. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't like Fortnite. I liked it before it was cool. Now I can't build. So, how many ass whoopings do you think came from Fortnite as in oh. stolen credit cards from mom and dad? I've watched a couple TikToks. <laughs> a thousand <laughs> talks. We have to have those banana man skins. <laughs> the golden banana man skins. Uh, but full disclosure on Fortnite. I enjoyed Fortnite until they brought out the battle royale. I actually really liked the save the world mode. But you know, that's just me. I thought it was a great tower defense, and then they just shredded it. So I see. I did too. I played the crap out of it, and then they brought the battle royale mode out. And they they kind of neglected neglected to save the world for a little bit, and which is where I lost interest. And they just canned it all together. Yeah, it's 
sucked because I actually kind of enjoyed it. It was kind of fun. It was a good little, like you said, tower defense. Mm, it's the fun. traps and stuff. Okay, so I have another thing to bring up here. I know Hoagie was kind of late to the Far Cry game, <laughs> and we played the crap out of it when uh, you finally got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you all finally convinced me to get the damn <laughs> shit. Far Cry 6. I am super pumped. That's going to be interesting. Game looks good. Because most of the Far Cries are kind of like open and outdoors and stuff, well, at least the ones I've played. Primal and Far Cry 5, and I can't remember what the other one was. The DLCs were also really good. Yeah, like they the, were completely Mars. like out of spectrum for the game, you know, but it was interesting. He kept your, you know, kept your attention because, like, okay, this is totally fucking new, but it still feels like uh, Far Cry. Exactly. So, with them being in a big city, with it staged in a big city, it's going to be interesting. I want to see how interesting to see how they put the Far Cry feel into a big city. Well, I think they said that it's going to be based in a, an entire state and it's say like a GTA five world, but there's a giant city and a giant outskirts, you know, I don't think it's just a city. So, and there's a Macarena gun. Like I can't wait to shoot that gun. That shoots oh, 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 what? <laughs> you know, the Macarena, you know, the, uh, oh, okay. Okay. I got you. I'm not going to sing it because you know, that's not my forte. Oh, dang it. I have a lawsuit <laughs> infringement for using someone's music. Keep it under six seconds. We're good. All right. Yeah, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> go. Uh, hey, Macarena. Or the Sea of Thieves update. I know that Eli has played a shitload of Sea of Thieves. You know, that was always a fun game. game. I want to know how much money they put out for that one. That's well, that's Disney. A, Disney hopped on board. Uh, I don't okay, think they hopped funny. on board. Never I think they Disney's paid Disney's pockets Disney. are so deep. Yeah, they, Disney Disney took money from from the creators. Was that rare? Yeah, so we'll see a see a thieves update. That actually drops, I believe, the twenty second. Twenty second. The same yeah. time as Dungeons and Dragons. Dark oh, Alliance. yeah, that's yeah, not I'm, good. I'm kind of actually a little excited for the sea of thieves. I quit playing it, but I want to get back into it. But there's just so much crap in it now. And like, if you were a day one player like me, hot it. I don't know if anybody else will screw no. up the day one player. No. I think it was just me and Haunted. When yeah, the game I, first I came on. out, it was, well, yeah, yeah, okay. you hopped on. Hold on, let me finish. Yeah, I, you I, did. I, Hold on. Back <laughs> when the game first came out, everything was extremely difficult to get to. Okay, it was really hard to get 50 in all of them. There wasn't Merchant Quest, and there wasn't no uh, Fort of the Damned or anything like that. Yeah, it was that. too slow-paced for sure. It was very slow paced and very grindy. And now like you can jump into the game and get 50 in all kinds of, I mean, they have even more uh, reputations now. I mean, you got the, uh, where are those dudes called? They're still the Reapers and everything else. So like they've come a long way with the game. And then I don't know. Well, yeah, I they made get back it a it. lot more fast paced. So, you know, you if you have yeah. a full server, at least the seven to oh, 12. Oh, and Jack Sparrow coach. comes into the play. See how it goes. Yeah, me and Johnny Depp go way back, you know, so it could be. If they let me have the ship customization from, uh, oh, Davy Jones, I, I'll be happy. I, I'd play the game. I just want that ship customization I on my ship. We are going to be playing that game. That game's, gonna, uh, that game's coming back, I think. It was fun. I don't think so. I think Sea of Thieves is dead. I enjoy Sea of Thieves. Uh, like, just because I play with you blokes and we all have shits and giggles and laughs and fun. But I come from Destiny and Division and everything else, and it's very weird for me to grind for hours upon hours to go and buy a blue T-shirt or a red <laughs> boat. It's I'm more about give me a sick gun that shoots 15 rockets at one time or, like, let, let one man level up, like just customization. But for shits and giggles and fun, yeah, the game's great. Yeah, but it's a pirate. That's game. why my guy will die with millions upon millions of dollars because I don't spend it on customers. <laughs> I refuse to spend my money. <laughs> I, I think I almost oh, bought everything like, when I stopped playing. Now, when they came out with the new ship cosmetics for the uh, Athenas, I, I'm broke. I, I have no money in that game because those cosmetic, cosmetics are amazing for the ship. But Excellent. Okay, okay. I know we're all a bunch of uh, Borderlands junkies in here. 
Oh, fuck yeah. yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, I could care less about any other thing yeah. shown in E3. Yes. I'm really going to pop. I, can... yeah. oh. I haven't played Borderlands 3 yet. That sucks. One of the best DLCs ever for any game is Tiny Tina's DLC in Borderlands 2. It was the best, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I do agree. Yep. Yeah, listening really to her do the voiceovers, you were doing the missions, playing in like a D&D style. She made that way too funny. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. Just everything about it. The, the gameplay was still Borderlands 2, but then you had ramped up comedy. It was phenomenal. It was, yeah, super fun. The whole, the I whole don't know if that's got a release date yet, but it does look good. Uh, it said year, spring, spring of 2022, I believe. That is when it's coming out. Uh, <laughs> back, for, back for Blood, coming to Game Pass. Marshall. Yeah. Oh, great another deal. great game. I cannot wait for player versus player. <laughs> uh, man like left for dead one is still hands down my favorite trailer or intro to a game that's ever been made and i'd argue that with everybody and then the game just was exactly that from playing single player campaign missions to playing player versus player i'm so glad that um they left valve and then they just were like hey left for deads are amazing we can't use the same name so we'll just remarket it and but I had to leave Valve, been... like, because Valve can't count past two. Like, they've got Portal <laughs> 1 and 2, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, Half Life 1 and 2. That's it. That's as far as it goes. They can't count past two. So they had to go and do their own thing. And then. You think they got their two own fingers? Game. Like, that's it? They just go, like, one. <laughs> Valve's made two. a great game, but keep them going. One and two, that's it. Well, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah, uh, back for blood. Game Pass. That's an insane steal. Like Game Pass just keeps getting oh. better and better. They, yeah, the more they're dropping, bigger. T- they're dropping bigger titles more often. Like I've actually got a list here of whole heap of Game Pass games here that I'll read out later on. There's about twenty two okay. of them. They all look ridiculous. But uh, why don't we go ahead? Why don't you start listing some of those off? Okay. Well, from today, there's Yakuza. Uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, yeah. uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Hades, 12 Minutes, Flight Simulator, The Ascent, Psychonauts 2, Origami 2, Sable, Back for Blood, Age of Empires, Among Us, that'll be interesting, see how that goes, 15 player Among Us, uh, Halo, Among Us is- phenomenal games, and that, that's just games that come out this year, you know, they just look good. I just like how they're starting to Microsoft starting to par- partner with some of the smaller and bigger uh, uh, game game people to make and bring games right to the Game Pass. Makes it makes it worth your while to have the EA access and or Game Pass for sure, hands down. Well, wasn't what was the article they were talking about the other day? With was it adding TV or something to Game Pass? Oh. They're adding Game Pass to TVs. Oh, yeah, as an app, yeah. For streaming. Wow. Yeah. Like, you know, your xCloud, like, you know, your xCloud streaming service? Nope. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not playing the game on your console. You're playing it through a web browser. So just like where you would just click on your smart TV, YouTube, it would now just be an app, yeah. Xbox. And then it would then stream the game through. So obviously it is very connection based. But yeah, you know. Yeah. So would you use so a keyboard and mouse have a or PC? So like, is a keyboard and mouse? It wouldn't be too hard to do. It's a controller, I guess. Like with the Xbox. Yeah. Or we, could you just yeah, buy probably a controller? So you wouldn't need an Xbox console. Is that what you're no, saying? No, but it's going to be streamed through the internet. So it's kind of very, you know internet based like because the game's not currently running on your machine it's running somewhere in the cloud and you're just ac- right. accessing it through your tv so there's already gaming services that do it uh you can currently do it now on xbox it's just not on tvs yet you know like uh you can do it on your phone hmm. you can do it yeah. on your phone yeah well i know yeah. i could play games through my phone when i'm at work but i need way better wi-fi or yeah. internet it's basically the phone. same thing putting your tv yeah so it's kind of okay hmm. 
Oh. That's that's pretty interesting. So, so our just... internet here in Australia is pretty dodgy at the best of times. So I don't think it's a good thing for us, but you know, see how it goes. With all those snakes and spiders stuck inside the <laughs> ether. <laughs> so the many snakes. The <laughs> so you don't cut lawns, you cut snakes when you go cut the grass? Yep, I go in the back and rake up all the spiders and mow the snakes. It's correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay so i learned this the other Ooh. day and most people are not going to know about this but hoagie can you say green bell pepper or green pepper for me bell peppers yeah green bell peppers okay, stink, what about stinky it? now you say green pepper that's good <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It's a cat skin. <laughs> Hold up. What are you talking about? It's, okay. It's not cat skin. Cat skin. Oh, okay. I was say, I got some, I, I can get some of that too. Cat skin? Uh, I know where some's at. <laughs> Down the street in the middle of the road. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. New addition to Subway, cat skin. No, no, I never get cat skin on one sandwich. It's too overpowering in the taste. Excellent. Okay, so let's uh let's uh start this portion of the podcast now to uh what recently have we been playing? What's been uh keeping us hooked onto the Xbox? Who wants to go first? I've been playing Xbox. Not playing I know you've been playing a lot of uh Dying Light. I've been playing Dying Light in in light of Dying Light 2 supposed supposed to. It's projected to come out in December. And I wanted to get back into Dying Light and play through it again. And now I'm like, I don't know. It's it is such very a good. I, I love the drop kick. That is so good. Uh, yes, <laughs> I love the drop kick too. Except for I usually kill myself with it because I try to drop kick off of a building, <laughs> fall to my death. And then I got I finally unlocked the oh, grapple the the and died like 15 times till I got used to it because I just yeet myself into oblivion. Playing yourself off but, a tall building, yeah. No, I remember playing a lot of that game, a lot of uh, looking for secret recipes to build the, the god tier weapons. I love that game, Dying Light. Rather than that, I've been playing Chivalry 2. Yeah, and? Just because there's nothing like running into a mob, mob mass of people and swinging a big ass sword and decapitating three of them and, and screaming while doing. I enjoyed that game, good. but I was always one of the three people get decapitated, so it, <laughs> it, it was a little bit too chaotic for me. I can see the appeal, but yeah, it's just far too chaotic for me. It was just yeah. I play some of that later. Yeah. Oh, Bardo, what have you been playing? Didn't lately? we just, well, what do you mean me? You as well. We just finished playing The Way Out, didn't we? A Way Out, yeah. That was fun. Uh, cinematic game for sure. Is it true that that game has male frontal nudity in it? Yeah, dude is packing a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Full, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. Full on side view. I've been staring right at you. There's, there's also a lot of, you know, broke back mountain between those two. And then one of them happened to say to the public, you know, hey, we were a couple. And then it just takes a twist for it. I'm not going to ruin the game. But if you have a friend, definitely no. give it a, a playthrough. It's it's uh, it's enjoyable. But you're going to watch about four hours of cutscenes, and you're going to play the game for. Yeah, we like, looked it up and it was on average, what, six to Six to eight hour completion, and yeah, six to eight hours of that it's is kind of like yeah. that yeah, new game that come out. Uh, it takes two. Uh, ah, yes. I played through that so with the wife. Uh, I mean, it took us her. three nights. I mean, we played for three or four hours a, a night, and it took us three or four nights to beat it. But it was fun. Maybe that's the next one. It's a good little game. I kind of enjoy those games. Definitely story-based. Definitely has a uh, good Looking on Xbox, something I've seen that they did with that game, which I thought was kind of cool, is if you buy, say I buy the game and you want to play it with me, you can go onto the store and download this thing called the Friend Pass for free 
and you can play the game off because I bought it. What? Yeah. Oh, that's the new feature that they're they're releasing, isn't it? That I've that's only seen it game. with the it, it takes two. Oh. But I thought oh. that was pretty awesome. Instead of, you know, forcing everybody to buy the game that wants to play it I, with their friends, you can just say, hey, go download this and we'll play. I thought they were also, maybe I misunderstood them, but they were talking about as long as one person has the DLC, you should be able to hop in with them. But we had just stopped watching E3, so I'll have to rewatch what they were talking now, about. That would to be cool, that. when you got a household of gamers, you buy a game that yeah. has like, $200 worth of DLC like Destiny 2. I mean, I don't know how much money I've sunk into that game to not play it. But if you, you already download the DLC to play the game, it's already in there. But if you were to say, I think the way they were talking about it was they wanted to, I guess if somebody were to have the DLC and you didn't, since it's already downloaded on your console, he's just allowing you to piggyback on his access code to play it. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's uh, fretting up, setting up friend share. Yeah, because of thing. Uh, okay. But, but now, uh, the way that those uh, it takes two games work is because it's mandatory two player. Yeah, like I can have a second Maybe player who doesn't friend. own the game can just download it and play with me as long as I own the game. Yeah, for free. You know? Yeah. Well, that'd be nice. Yeah, but yeah, you have to have a friend to be able to do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's pretty lonely over there. Yeah. He's on an island. <laughs> It's true. Don't worry. You got What's it. your name? It's <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> right. Yeah, somebody got the reference. Yeah. Uh, All right, Stinky, what have you been playing lately? What's been keeping you? Uh, I'm very interested. But I haven't downloaded it yet, but I do want to play the Ninja Gaiden remake because those games are amazing. Uh, but I've mainly just been playing MechWarrior 5, I guess. That came to Game Pass. Because that game kind of ticks all the boxes for me. It's got leveling up, actions, getting giant robots. Can't go wrong, you know? I'm actually... Yeah. I, I agree with you. I'm enjoying yeah. the shit out of it, too. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just a little it. behind you. Yeah. You uh, always the mech be. designs. Oh, oh, go see it. <laughs> I'll fucking surpass you in it. Oh, I just had other games I had to play, too. Because I'm still waiting on you to play Man Eater. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, that's off the mech. It better be. I mean, I know Hoagie's playing it or played it. Did you beat nope. it, Hoagie? I ain't touched it. <gasps> Maybe it was. Downloaded it. What? I think you and I, you and I were the only ones that played it. No, our so good friend Mason was playing it. That's who. I have the is. issue where, like, I watch a lot of YouTube and stuff. So if I watch somebody play a game all the way through, which I did with Man Eater, I tend to one probably won't play it. Games yeah, like it that. Kind of, it, it kind of substitute you having to get it. Yeah. So I like sitting there watching somebody play it. And I watched a YouTuber play the entire game and beat it. And I'm like, eh, it's cool. I mean, it's a good, good, good looking game, but I probably won't play it. I, I don't think I'd go out and throw dollars at it. But Game Pass, you know? Right. Who knows? Because it is on Game Pass. Maybe if they add some DLC in there with the Game Pass, I might. But we'll see. Okay. Might as well. Get, get some achievement on things there. Uh, speaking about uh, streaming, uh, don't you still stream there, Huggy Dog? Uh, more or less, less right now because a lot of stuff's going on. But yeah, I try to stream. Well, we'll have your uh, link in the bio here. So if, Copy. if anybody wants to check them out gaming, I'm sure that anybody over on Twitch. Yeah, check us out, or if you want to watch us game, or watch us all game at the same time, and watch us just get steamrolled, or uh, what? Yeah, we get steamrolled a lot, especially when we're playing Apex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people that like to try hard in that game, which is part of the game, but, you know, it's fun when you're doing the steamrolling. I'll let that, let that sink in. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So wait a minute. So this is probably going to get cut. But so you like to watch people play games, but then you don't do it yourself. So if you watch somebody no, doing not, the deed, do up. you then not do the deed because you watch someone else do it? No. Well, I don't typically watch people do the deed, first off. 
because I could just go do the. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious, just curious, just curious. But if I'm sitting there, like I'm not playing video games at the moment, I'm watching, scrolling through YouTube, and I click on a video, it's a playthrough of a game just chopped down with all the boring shit taken out of it. I'm like, okay, well, that game looked cool. Well, I probably won't oh, play. Oh, but that's the grind. But there are some games that I do watch that I do play. Like, I watched a ton of Sea of Thieves video. I still watch Sea of Thieves videos. Give me and I played the shit out of the Sea of Thieves. I sent Audit a TikTok yesterday of a Sea of Thieves clip that just was amazing. Is that the one with the... Uh, you have to show that one to Bardo. Yeah. He'd crack up on that oh, one. Yeah. yeah, that one was amazing. I remember the one time we were, we were getting chased by somebody. It's just certain games. It's every once in a while I'll watch a game like uh what was another one I watched that I wanted to play, but then I watched it. I can't remember. It was like a while back. But every once in a while I'll watch a video game get played through and then I just don't play it. The one I like to watch was Cuphead. Man. Oh, there was a Netflix so show that coming in as well. That looks Fuck. pretty entertaining. That's a finger smasher. hmm Did you hear that? Bardo? Yeah, I know there's a... There, yeah, uh, Stinky and I were talking about this. Well, he was telling me Netflix. about it. The uh, video. <laughs> uh, oh, Netflix Cuphead. cartoon. Cuphead. It's probably going to be good. Yeah, it's probably going to be good. The, the game was good. I'm about halfway done. But, like, remember when you were doing dips in a way out, Brian, at that last stage? That's Cuphead, <laughs> but the whole game. The fucking... Like, you could hold the trigger or smash to... Smash, smash X to shoot faster. I mean, at that point, you should yeah. just get a turbo yeah. controller so you can just hold it. But oh, do they even still have turbo controllers? There's got to be a function that you can get to. There's got to be a rapidly smash one button so I don't have to do it. Then you can focus I more on actual I even. Game. GameCube. I I did. I had one where you could preset a bunch of functions, and for Mortal Kombat for the finishers, I would uh, you know. Forward, forward, back, down, down, B, X, Y. Sounds like a hack. And then I would save it. Yeah. <laughs> tournament <laughs> legal. You know, totally tournament legal. <laughs> yeah. It's only legal if you get caught. True facts. I love Mortal Kombat games. We need to start. We need to have a night where we all get into Mortal Kombat and beat the shit out of each other. I remember. Because I think it's on Game Pass. Actually, when... Uh, a few years ago, Bardo and I went to one of the movie theaters and rented it out and played Mortal Kombat on the big screen at a movie theater. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. We played a couple that. games that day. Halo? Halo. A lot of Halo. Yeah. That, isn't there a new Halo? Or mm-hmm. is there some? Yeah, some I think it's not seen the Halo yeah. multiplayer trailer. I lost interest in Halo after Halo 4. It's dead to me. <laughs> that whole franchise. <laughs> when they sold the whole the franchise. Halo oh, Infinite, right. but it's been delayed so much. I don't know. I have a feeling they're going to do like Cyberpunk and they're going to overhype it and get everybody super hyped for it. And then when it comes out, it's just going to be a disaster. And I, I hope not, I so. but it's probably what's going to happen. Did they ever fix that stuff with Cyberpunk? Yeah, there there's no? probably still where I haven't played. I never played Cyberpunk 2077. Nah. I was waiting glitches. for the proper uh, Xbox no. Series X version to come out, and then I was going to play it. But uh, that still hasn't dropped yet, so like, yeah, I will play it but when it's fixed. When's Doom? Okay, what about when's Doom coming out? Hmm? We were talking about this earlier. When's the Doom Xbox? Uh, like the end of this month, I believe there'll be a proper 4K ray tracing Doom update for uh, Series X consoles. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna play through Doom. I mean, even though it's not gonna do me any good, but I'm gonna play through Doom then. <laughs> what about um, uh, Bio Mutant? I'm kind of interested in getting close to buying that one for sure. I know it got a lot of bad hype. I don't know how much you guys seen of it. I know Stinky really, really looked into it. It looked interesting, but it never got, you know, like I don't trust a lot of reviews, you know, like say MechWarrior 5, that kind of got panned in the reviews too, but I really enjoyed that game. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know, you know. Agreed. It, 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 it does look good, but yeah, no, I haven't played it. I just like the whole country aspect. 
cool. I would say if it's not a battle royale right now, it's a garbage game to media. <gasps> what? I didn't say that. <laughs> I can have offended them. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm agreeing that like video games are getting harsh reviews. Single player games, they're not <gasps> doing as great as like your battle royale, your Call of Duty battle royale. Look at how amazing this is. It's true, like a lot of people. What are you playing right now? Oh, I'm playing Apex, yeah. Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite. Yeah, you're you playing you these just battle massive battle, battle royale first-person shooters, and we're forgetting about the people who make a storyline in a video game. And the and the smaller indie games too that are yeah are pretty good. I mean, I read about when I played through Resident Evil Village. That game got shit reviews. People were like, "Oh, it's not scary." Well. I don't know if you played any of the other Resident Evils, but they weren't all meant to just be a horror style video game. They were still action based. It was Resident Evil Five. It was Infinite Rocket Launcher ammo. I tell you one thing in that game that didn't get a bad review. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming too. <laughs> no, she was, she was good until the Samsung uh, mascot came out. She's very quick to replace. Yeah, so for sure. But no. Resident Evil 5, I thought it was an amazing game. I thought it was good with their little trilogies, and I disagreed you with the that one a few times. Oh, fuck. I, I wish I would have known I could have just played a load save in that game. I did play through three playthroughs before I realized I can just keep playing through the same one, and I would save all my items. Nope. Have you all seen the... Uh... <laughs> <Right? laughs> You just didn't click that. <laughs> That's probably because I was intoxicated yeah. while playing it. So. It was a good game, though. Yeah. Oh, did you all see the trailer? The little sneak peek for the Avatar game. Avatar game. Avatar yeah. Game. Go on. You know the movie that broke box offices when it came out avatar with the blue people yeah where they yeah, they connect. Oh, i'm not they're thinking making, of the right ones they're making no, the james game. cameron movie avatar Ooh. yeah <laughs> yeah that Wait. one that's what i was thinking of no. like airbenders nope. no no airbenders <laughs> what that broke box office it's that was no. a dive of a movie yeah, let's go on they're making an open world game and it oh, looks shit. amazing the graphics in that game are from what I've seen, are going to be pretty. Is it going to be three off the wall? It's it, it looked good. I better have three. Now, now is it going to be uh, next gen? It might be only. I mean, would make sense a game like that if you're going to make it open world. And even the movie was very visual, you know. It was. It I, was would. A lot of I, I would. I would because I mean. Older Xboxes and Playstations and stuff we probably ain't going to be able to support it to its full format. Hell, Chivalry 2 has lag for anything under an Xbox Series X. So the Series S can only can't do 60 FPS and Chivalry 2. And that game's not super, super demanding on graphics, you know? No, it's not. Just a lot of blood and gore. Yeah, it's it's... Well, I take uh, what's started. that game we were playing where you hunt the dinosaurs? Um, Second Extinction. Extinction. Second Extinction. Oh. Lord Fuck, have that's mercy. Rough on Xbox. Ruined, oh, yeah. Oh. Because <laughs> our gen, the old gen Xboxes and stuff can't handle it because the bio, the bodies pile up and it loads, it overloads the graphics and it's just, it's done. Yeah, yeah. you hear that? No, that's what that killed that game good. for me. Yeah, put your spawn times down on decaying bodies. Like when they're dead, fucking get rid of them. It's just yeah, arms and legs, and legs and faces and faces and everywhere. When there's a well, yeah, you guys have the new Xbox to the waistline of my character in the game, and I'm moving at like two frames a minute. Something's mm -hmm. wrong. That's what killed that game for me. I like I enjoyed that game, and then that sh I got literally the game crashed my Xbox twice, and I said, "All right, I'm done." You know what went wrong is that mm -hmm. you didn't have the new mm -hmm. Xbox. Step well, one. If well, people would qu quit yeah, scouting step one, prices okay, over here fair. in America, I, I might I'm, have one, but I'm not going to pay a thousand dollars for a console that's five hundred dollars. I'm not happy. I'll play a game throughout the leg. Though I still play, and it is it's rough. It's a lot of chugging, but <laughs> no, so yeah. like I don't mind. But when it crashes and I lose my progress twice back to back, I'm done. Well, yeah, 
that did happen. I remember now. Yeah. I'm not playing it no more. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got some. Just came to my mind. A little off topic, but uh, free guy. Oh. I've been waiting for that movie to come out for so long. Oh man, I am pumped. They pushed it back, and now it's they're saying August. I believe so. Yeah. I think like the movie's been made for a long time just because everything was shut down. It was supposed to be out fucking last year in December. Yeah, but it's not that they pushed it back. No, like last year, two years ago in December. It's only just because of all the uh, world dramas that they actually didn't release it. Same as Black Widow, you know, like they just because they need to make money off it. Well, that movie's definitely out. It's just not been released. There's like three of them out, they isn't there? They just not released. Like they're done movies. Uh, Fast and the Furious Nine, I believe, has only just come out, and that should have came out about a year and a half ago. Yeah, uh, Black Widow is next month, and then yeah, and then that Free Guy. Yeah, all, all three of those movies just never got released because they needed you know, places to be open. A lot of it can be contributed to COVID too, because I mean, people don't want to go to the movie theaters and stuff like that. So why would you release a movie during a time where going to the movie theater, where they make most of their money? Is just not optional, you know. Like I, I haven't been to the movies in I don't know how long because I'm not going to sit for two and a half hours with a mask on my face, breathing, trying to breathe through it. I just watch yeah, whatever at home. You got to start to get with the times here. Like a lot, a lot of it is now. People want to be at home, their family, you know, comfortable. That's why I like people, HBO Max when they came out and they were releasing new movies that just came out, like the Mortal Kombat movie and uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. I immediately got a subscription for HBO Max. Well, see, and they showed up free for you. Yeah. They didn't show up free for us. We started to pay in Canada. Bro, see, I didn't hear. You pay a monthly subscription, I get access to all of it. I watched the new Godzilla vs. Kong. I watched the new Mortal Kombat, the new Wonder Woman. We still had to rent. All we still had to rent movies. Godzilla. Like there was a, and I think you you said Mortal Kombat too, right? Yeah, I rented yeah. that one. I, I yeah, Mortal money. Kombat. I, I want to. Did you more. get it for free? I only watched that movie like three times. Yeah, it's yeah. Free. It's, I don't have to pay for it. I, well, think I pay it, a monthly subscription to like it's kind of like Netflix in a way. You know, it's a streaming what? service. We have down here in America. Yeah, yeah but which one? What was it yeah, called? Also down there. Was it HBO called oh, HBO Go? I think. Okay, so because on, I think it's Prime or is it Crave? We have HBO, but they still don't have. Yeah, because it's a movie. There's different regulations oh, see, between our countries. Right. Somebody else owns the movie. Anyways, you get it for free. Canada had to pay. I, I think Australia. Had we don't even get well, HBO. But, well, y'all don't. Do y'all have HBO Go there? In Australia or Canada, do y'all have that as a streaming service available? Uh, you'd have to stream it's, it. It's like... called HBO Go. Uh, we could probably buy it. So it's kind of like Netflix; it's a standalone service. I, I don't even have HBO Go. Go. I think yeah. HBO our, our, uh, cable company, mm. which I don't subscribe to because it's a rip off. They just pay money to basically get all the <laughs> HBO shows. So. I, I can still rent them out through right. Xbox and everything else, or you know, like through. Renting out purposes, but no, we do not have HBO Go. Okay, so in Canada, the service is referred to as TMN Go, which is an mm -hmm. online service offered through the movie network. So obviously TMN, the movie network. Uh, you can you can use the service to stream HBO on your phone, laptop, gaming, PC, console. And can you yeah. watch the new new movies on that though? That's the big question. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I, I wouldn't know. But hey, if you're looking stuff up, I want the Adult Swim app in Canada. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. We still can't get it. Like I'm always trying to get on their apps, but for some reason, we can't just get the app. It has to be attached to a larger company. So like Crave is the big guy, right? So they own the HBO. I think they've got is it Stars? They've got a couple channels so under there. So streaming service but there's hbo go and then there's hbo max i have the max because i have it on my main tv on my fire stick and that's the one i am subscribed to okay and that's the one that has all the new movies like i i just get on there and watch a random like I, as soon as the i was i stayed up to watch the release of the Zack snyder's 
cut of Justice League when it came out on HBO Max at two in the morning. That was a I watched great, that four hour in a movie. Great movie. It was so much better than the original. Did you watch the whole so thing? much? Yes, I yeah. No, I didn't go to bed till like seven, eight o'clock the next day. <laughs> I don't believe it. it was good. That's that's what DC yeah, needs. No, I, was, I was all about it. Is something like that. The uh the, the shame is that there's a another version of that movie exists. It's kind of a disappointment. <laughs> It was so much better than the original. So much better. I haven't. I yeah, like the Mortal Kombat movie. It gets horrible ratings. Everybody hates that movie. It's nothing like the originals. Well, it's not. It's a fan service. It's for the. It's towards the games. It's towards the people that love the games. It is a fan service. I love that movie. That movie was amazing. I, I've watched it. A, I don't know how many times. It's worth least it. three. It's worth it. I. That's why. That's why I rented it right away for what I think I paid. I hope they make a second. Bucks. I'll give them my money. I want to see more. That was what about Monster Hunter good. then in that aspect? See, Monster Hunter, I couldn't find it on any streaming services like Netflix or HBO or Amazon Prime. So I actually rented that one. And what'd you think? It was all right. It's, I mean, it's got parts from like it's, it's, it's weird. It's like it's got parts from the game. But it's also like a standalone in a way, because like if you remember from Monster Hunter World, when you're running around and uh, what is it? The wildfire waste, the rotten area. You got those little bugs that are running around that like to attack you. Well, they're like not even knee high. Right. When that movie, they're like bigger than a human. So I don't understand why they did that. There's a little few questionable. You watched it, too, didn't you? Yeah. Not yet. No, I I was going to. And then I want to know how. Right now. Like they did some, like they did Diablo justice. That dude was amazing. And Rathlos was in there. I'd like too. to say a spin off because to the cat shit. The but they did amazing <laughs> with that aspect. Yeah. Hey, there was, he was in there. Have them going I was amazed them. to see him in there. And he looked good too. They did him, they did him good. But there's some things didn't make sense. What about uh, the cat chefs with Gordon Ramsay? Hmm? Have the cat chefs go up against Gordon Ramsay on some kind of TV series? Gordon Ramsay would lose. I'd rather eat the food fixed by them damn cats. 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 minimum wear yeah. a I'd be like four hundred pounds. I don't know how they can eat that much, but I'd be I'd be like six hundred pounds and happy. Talk about not they'd not have to roll my be. ass toward yeah, a monster. Not to not kill cats cats having cats get up his sandwiches yet. Working for cats. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else anybody's been playing that they it's want to bring up? not been playing. Uh, there is some good games coming out very soon, though. So, see how they go. Yeah, I, I definitely am looking I forward to I already pre-downloaded <laughs> that Dungeons & Dragons Did they uh, announce Dark Alliance. Free. I pre-ordered well, Dark Alliance. Well, Forza 5. Three. That game does look good. New Forza? That, that game. Uh, I don't I play just say. Yeah. I don't play that many yeah. racing games. No, you're that probably... Oh, I don't even play racing games. It's just, look, there's another Forza of flashy fucking cars. <laughs> Diablo 2 remake? Mostly they, they oh. get away from their graphics. I quit. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Diablo 2 is good. Quit remaking fucking games and just give me Diablo 4 already. Like, I've been waiting long enough. I... Diablo 3 was awesome. I love that game. I have played. There's nothing I can't do in that game. I have every, like, some of the best builds in that game. I have stuff you're not supposed to have in that game. Not going into detail. (laughs) But you can only play one game so much, you know? Like, when you get to the point to where you, you do everything in the game, you just don't want to play it no more. And then if I do the same thing to Diablo 2, why would I want to play the remastered version if it's the same thing, just remastered? I agree with that. Just give me Diablo 4. Give me new content. But, but there's a lot of people that love the nostalgia of the... Yes, yes, there is. I'm, I, like I said, that's my opinion, you know. 
But like when I seen the trailer for Diablo four, I was all sorts of hyped. I was eating lunch and stopped eating lunch to watch the seven minute trailer. I was at a restaurant. I'm like, no, I'm watching this. Phone's on full blast. Don't care. Everybody can just mind their own bit. There's blood, people getting murdered, and some demon chick. And yeah, I'm looking. I'm just sitting in a restaurant. Like Battlefield. 2042. I'm sure we're all we're all gonna get. Um, I so swear to God, I swear you. It sure. sounds like you read that from a piece of paper. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's <just, laughs> <laughs> No, that's what I'm looking for. Not to. supposed to wrinkle Far the Christ script six. now. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, that, but that's your number one. one is what you're saying. I'm I'm I'm, is, I'm waiting for that one. That one to be good. Um, it's going to be unique to have 64 versus 64. Wait, that's not... Yeah. Well, there's rumors in the rumorverse, and we don't, we can't say that it's true or not, but uh, uh, I think Stinky and I were talking about it, that uh, the new consoles might, and I'm going to say might, be the only ones to house... 128. Well, I mean, that makes sense because they're the newer consoles are the only ones with solid state drives instead of hard drives. Yeah, there's only like 128 people that play the game, you know, have that console, anyways. <laughs> that's like 126 too many. That's just fucking too many. <laughs> so, Hotted, you're, you're saying two that this is your number one game you're looking forward to from E3 is Battlefield? Uh, yeah, okay. No, I have a list. You have a li- well, okay, what's, what's your, <laughs> now, what's everyone's favorite game then right now? That yeah, that's for? just been announced for me three. Like, what? What's the highlight reel? Far Cry Six. Far Cry Six. Absolutely love the love the love all of the Far Cries. I have to so, agree. That's probably be the one I'll play and be most hyped for when it comes out. So far, and it's multiplayer. It's multiplayer too. So play with your friends. Go fishing. You know. No, oh, no. On the subject of not E three, they are also coming out with an Evil Dead game. That looks good. I'm okay. I'm hyped for that. I'm a, I'm like a cult follower for Evil Dead. I love Evil Dead. I still have the disc copy of Evil Dead: A Fistful of Boomstick for PlayStation Two in a drawer. I I love Evil Dead. <laughs> it's one of my favorite little spinoffs. Stinky, what's your highlight of the game? Uh it's a game coming in. It wasn't actually at the E3. It was at the other bizarre that they had games first or whatever well, it was. But I'm probably going to say well, Elden yeah. Ring. Elden Ring. That one looked. That one looked Elden good Ring. Too. It's a Dark Souls style game, so it's a man's game. Yeah, a hard game. A man's game. Okay, yeah, it's a man's, man's game, game. game because right. it's, it's difficult. And I don't. <laughs> a game that just looks entertaining to me. It might be terrible, but it looks entertaining. Did you see the trailer for a game called Party Animals? Oh. Okay. Not yet. No, but I heard Slime Rancher too. Oh, <laughs> like, I've seen, yes. <laughs> I've oh, actually God. seen gameplay of the party animals, and it's kind of like uh, it's got like that uh, what is that game where you play the little gummy men? Um, yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Fall Guys, isn't that it? Nah, Brawl something. So yeah, what? I, I think it's Fall Guys. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yeah, Fall Guys is the little gummy one where you got to go through the obstacle course, but you can get eliminated. And there's like mini games and stuff. Yeah. So what is the game you're yeah, referring to? All, it's, it's called, called Party, Party Animals, Animals and it's pretty Party much. Animals? Yeah, it's like a little mini battle. Or, what was that game we used to play where we used to beat each other up and it had the falling floors and stuff? Um we played it for a little bit there. I can't remember what it's called. I know the game you're talking of. Yep. Ah, oh, I should have wrote that down. You didn't. You didn't have it on your cheat sheet. No. Oh. What? That's okay. What the cheat sheet? The thing you were reading off of. What was that game hotter that you and I tried to play and we couldn't figure out how multiplayer worked? Fall okay. Guy. No, that's the PlayStation game. No. All flat. Yeah, yeah, made by the same people, but it's a uh, 
little like beat em up Human stuff. Fall Flat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's beat em up stuff. We played it for a little bit. It was. I just oh, well, my for me anyway, it was really hard. Loud. It was hard to. Uh, it was hard to control your little guy. We couldn't team up for some reason. I think we couldn't get connected, so we just said, "Yeah, delete that off our hard drive." Yeah, Party Animals looks entertaining. Whether it'll be good or not, I don't know. Starfield, uh, I'm a big RPG player. I think it was called Pummel Party, wasn't it? Uh, I'm, I'm Isn't not that sure. something you do at night? Yes. <laughs> Gang Beast, Gang that's beast. what it was. Even Gang Beast. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. also something I do at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that kind of feel to it, but there's weapons and stuff, so... And you play as a little corgi beating up a gorilla. Like, you can't yeah. go wrong. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm going to say um, Bat for Blood is going to be my highlight from E3. I'm excited to see this and play it. Yeah, I know you're really into uh, Left 4 Dead. I, I love, love those Left games. Back when it was a lot. current game. A lot. Of them. Like, a lot. Yeah. Dead. So pretty much you're saying we're going to lose you to... Well, yeah, it's all yeah, four it's four pass. Person. Fucking... Yeah. And it is four person. But what it is, is it can be eight versus eight. So, like, mm. get all our friends together and then roll a dice, you know? All right, it's these four versus these four. It's like a, almost a Destiny raid group. Mm-hmm. Two, two extra friends then. Mm-hmm. That'd be good fun. All right, so we got time for one more topic here, and I'm going to bring it in. And uh, So you're getting sent back to medieval times with only yourself and the knowledge you have. What, how are you going to progress society without being burnt alive like, and being called a witch? All right, first thing that comes to my mind, and this could go either way, okay. I'm going to introduce the flossy dance. <laughs> you fucking blow their minds with those dance moves though oh, right, put it this way everybody is either amazed and it becomes the dance of the people and then ballroom dancing is now just some variation of that or they think i'm trying to summon a demon and then i'll get burnt as a witch so did you ma- <laughs> imagine the battlefield that like your dance intro, you know, you got a line of 200 dudes and then your team with 200 just floss and walking up to them. That would trip them the fuck out. <laughs> Intimidating. That guy with the claymore is flossing towards me. Yeah. See, that's, see, you can picture it. Like, could you imagine Braveheart doing flossy dance, you know? But the whole line of, yo, my Lord. <laughs> just dodging arrows as it goes through because they're doing the little side shift. <laughs> oh man, witchcraft! I mean, I, <laughs> you that's, that's some good knowledge. See, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck! I thought I was just—I would die. I'm like, man, survival? <laughs> Are you kidding me? These people that are like forage food, can stuff, preserve it. I'm like, I'm dead as fuck. Where do I plug in my? <laughs> like, I, I can shoot stuff. <laughs> No, I I can shoot stuff, I, but like, can I make gunpowder down to like making it? I think I, I want to say it was Bill Burr who does a a wonderful stand up of how long would you do you think you could last if you went out? No, it was Joe Rogan. How long could you last if uh, the power went out? Like, how long would it take you to go out in the wild and then send me an email? Here's a hatchet. I'd be dead as fuck. With only oh, a hatchet? Yeah. Well, that's medieval time. Yeah. You, you shit right, outside right, no, in no, medieval no, times. No, you're probably no, poking in you a pocket, open your window, window like, oh, this is where it goes. Up. No, you no, said no, if you went into the drinking power, went water. Out. Yeah, medieval times. You, you, get, you, you get nothing but knowledge. The thing. You said go out with yeah. a hatchet and send me an email. But that's not yeah. medieval times. That's current times. Okay. But okay. the powers went out. First of all, how do you... First of all, how do you type on a keyboard with a hatchet? <laughs> okay, as but how as you can essentially and as fast as you can. If you were to go out in the wild, is what he was saying. Not like if you just had a hatchet, you just walk to Timmy's house down the street. No, I understand what you were saying, but you're saying that's medieval times, but yeah. it's a hell of a lot different now. 
well, than back then. Oh God, yeah. It would it would be even harder. Okay, so the first thing that would happen, you'd back. walk into the woods with a hatchet, and then about four or five police cars are going to show up and go, "What the fuck are you doing?" And then here's me in the background <laughs> doing the on- flossy dance. Yeah, it like you just, <laughs> yeah. You just, <laughs> and then you're going to be on yeah. news doing the flossy dance with handcuffs behind you, trying to anyways, but it's kind of hard yeah. with handcuffs. <laughs> All right, so Hoagie, what would you what would you take back to medieval? What would I take? Back yeah, medieval? would I take anything? Hold on, right, what? You didn't confuse All the shame well. What would I? What would okay. I do? Yeah, like if I you go back to medieval time. Yeah, you just got teleported back to medieval what times, and now you have to live there. Let's let's say like the. And you have to advance advance their technology. I think I'd try to be How, the one that built the first fully automatic machine gun because then I'd have the most fucking firepower on my side. So you have the knowledge of making one? A right little now? bit. I mean, I can disassemble and fully assemble. Okay, one. all right. Can you cast forge steel? That's the first thing we're going to need you to do. We need you to buy there for the, the rest of my fucking out life. Out of the ground. So, so you need to figure it out. No, no, no. You need to teach these people how to mine and find resources. So once they found resources, then they're also going to need to be able to create, oh, okay. melt, turn. Why do I have to teach them how? how do I, why do I have to teach them how to mine and find resources when it's medieval times? They have swords and shit. I'm pretty you, sure you know how to, they know how to find resources. Yeah, like basic metals that are cast and forged. They're cheap and terrible okay. forms of metal. You have a gun. Yeah. We use proper steel plating. Yeah, like good grades of steel because we knew just taking steel and mushing it I together with other try steel to form the first type of fully automatic machine gun. Okay, so do you know how to make gunpowder? I didn't say it, it had to be you know pretty. It didn't have to look like a fucking AK or a fucking M16. Yeah, you're going to make a, you're gonna like, make some sort of like gun, essentially. You're going to teach them how to build yeah. a gun. No, I'm not going to teach anybody. I'm going to teach myself and keep motherfuckers away from me. <laughs> I don't want those flossy dancing motherfuckers coming around here. Right? So when the army comes to invade the country that I'm staying in and they knock on my door and I blast them motherfuckers into oblivion, they leave me alone. Totally American, yeah. though. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Hottis? Uh, I'd probably go back and uh, weed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, here, let me show you how to grow. Bob was like, "Can I change my answer?" <laughs> <laughs> when you went back oh. to medieval times, you didn't happen to swing by Australia, mm-hmm. did you? Because this is where the whole koala chlamydia <laughs> outbreak could have fucking happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no I dropped damn, off a few there too. I dropped off some mice there just recently. <laughs> Holy shit! What is happening? Uh, you know. You know what's going on with your mice problem, man? Is, you know, is it really problem. as bad as they say it is? Uh, not where well, I live. <laughs> what you speak for Australia? Your problem is we just figure Australia's problem. Uh, then it's fine. <laughs> it's no it is bad, here. but it's not here. I think it's more Western Australia, which is an extreme distance from me. Do you know what's like caused that, or what you what you've been told? I don't watch the TV. Couldn't tell you. That's fair. Oh, <laughs> you just know there's mice eating all your crops. Has okay. America has ants. You have, that's our issue right now. What happened to your, like, the golden rain we've been getting? Our ants are just horrible <laughs> right now. You think that the ants would drown? Here? Well, they go, no, they're not. They're actually kind of smart. They seek shelter or go higher and they don't just, oh, it's getting wet. I'm going to die. <laughs> they're everywhere. Like when it's pouring down rain and I go out to check the mail and I open my mailbox and it's just this black moving thing inside. I watched the mail lady open it for the first time while it was raining and she about shit herself. She dropped her mail. (laughs) She didn't give a fuck because I was walking out the door. She seen me and she just took off. (laughs) I was cracking up. She probably liked that mailbox on fire though. (laughs) Yeah, no. Like just, just, just the next rainstorm. Just sit there and like fill it with some it's gas. It's when it rains. Yeah, just yeah, fill it with some yeah, gas and yeah. just light it and make a little fireball go. And 
The best, the best part about this whole conversation is Stinky's sitting there laughing at yeah. us because we're scared. Well, I'm not scared. Yeah, I'm not scared. That'd be fun way to just melt four thousand ants with, you know, a little bit of lighter fuel. Fuel, uh, fuel. Just fill up his mailbox. A little. Well, I got in my truck mm-hmm. this morning, and they were crawling up the door, the door panel of my truck, like just a line of ants. I'm like, really? In my driveway. Our oh, answer was all the Volkswagen up. Beetles. They don't do much. <laughs> Fine. I believe that. I've seen those pictures. I've you seen those pictures. The comparisons. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's where that old saying comes from. Oh, Everything's good. bigger in Australia. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely Texas. I think it's yeah, Australia. Texas. Everything is here to kill you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Australia. You're probably not going home. See. <laughs> okay, guys, that's that's probably going to do it for us at the Peanut Gallery Gaming, where, where our opinions don't matter, but yours does. So uh, leave a comment on uh, what games you're looking forward to, and also let us know what games you guys want us to check out and talk about. See you guys next week. Deuces. Bye. Adios. Adios.